Welcome to our React troubleshooting session. Today, we're addressing a question that many new developers encounter. Our viewer is trying to implement a simple editing and creating mask for a list of companies, but they're facing an issue with event handling. The viewer's question revolves around why the on-click event isn't firing when they click on a company component. Let's take a closer look at the code and see how we can help them resolve this issue. Welcome back to another tech video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy like me and find that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Let's start by understanding why the on-click event is not firing when you click on a company component. The issue lies in how the on-click prop is being passed to the company component. In your company list component, you are trying to pass the on-click handler to the company component, but the company component does not accept this prop. Let's modify the company component to accept the on-click prop. Now that we've updated the company component to accept the on-click prop, we need to ensure that the edit company method is correctly defined to handle the click event. Finally, make sure that when you render the company component, you are passing the on-click prop correctly. This will ensure that the edit company method is called when a company is clicked. By following these steps, your on-click event should now work as expected. Clicking on a company will trigger the edit company method. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To make class name, onClick, or onChange work on a custom React component, you need to bind the event in the child component. You can do this by directly passing the onClick prop to the list item. Alternatively, you can use the spread operator to pass all props except for the company prop to the list item. This allows for greater flexibility with your component. This approach utilizes ES6 features like the spread operator and rest parameters to enhance your component's functionality. I hope that's found the resolution that you're looking for and you managed to work your way through your issue. Please, if it did help, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next technical time you need help, have a good one.